Well, CBS 2's Tina Patel is live downtown in L.A. with a look at the civil unrest that happened there and across the Southland. Tina. Good morning. There were more protests here in downtown last night, although the crowds were much smaller and much calmer than what we're seeing in places around the country. Take a look at this video from Sky 2. You can see that the protesters gathered in the streets by LAPD headquarters. At one point, a person laid down in front of a CHP cruiser. Several people crowded around the car were throwing things, but the officer was able to get away. It does not appear anyone was injured. Police Chief Michael Moore put out a statement addressing the frustration in the community. The video capturing a fatal confrontation between Minneapolis police officers and George Floyd and the aftermath of civil unrest are both disturbing and a sobering reminder of the fragile relationships we have with our communities we serve. Protesters with Black Lives Matter also marched from Santa Monica to Venice last night. Police were standing by, but this demonstration remained peaceful. No one was arrested. It was a different story in the Inland Empire. Take a look at this video. Police in Fontana had to use tear gas to get a group of protesters to disperse from their downtown streets. They say there were about 100 people blocking traffic, and then they started throwing rocks at businesses and passing cars. We are seeing this morning that some of the windows at City Hall were broken. Now, police say it took about an hour to get the crowd under control. Nine people ended up being arrested. And here's the latest in Minneapolis. As we were telling you, the National Guard has been called in to help officials handle the unrest there. 500 soldiers will help protect banks, grocery stores, and other businesses from destruction and looting. There was more damage overnight. A police precinct set on fire. That is the building where four officers involved in the death of George Floyd worked. Those officers have now been let go from the force. Back here live, we are also hearing that there were protests in cities like Louisville, Denver, New York. A lot of people calling for justice and saying that the officers in Minneapolis should be held accountable for their actions. That's the very latest. We'll send it back to you in the studio.